So now we'll be solving a question from Court Forces round 716. The name of the question is AND 0 SUM B. It was the B question of the contest. In the question we are given two integers n and k and we are given three conditions and we need to find an array or we need to find the count of total number of arrays of length n which uh, follow in the given three conditions. The conditions uh, for the array are uh, that all of its element are between 0 and 2 to the power k minus 1. The bitwise, bitwise and of uh, all its elements is uh, equals to 0 and the sum of its elements is as large as possible. So these are the given examples and from the example that is not very clear. So I'll try to explain you. So let uh, C even be the first number of an array and uh, let this be the binary representation of the number. Similarly B1 is B, 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 B1, B. This is the binary representation of uh, B and C1 is C, 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 C. So for this, uh, the length of array, let it be 3 and uh, let k be equals to 5. For k equal to 5, the, uh, the range of the numbers is from 0 to 2 to power k minus 1. So as we know, 2 to power k has uh, k plus 1 bits. This 2 to power k minus 1 will have exactly k bits. Okay. So we have 5 bits here. Now for the AND of the given 3 numbers to be 0, uh, the AND should be something like this. Okay. So for such a condition, at least 1 bit in the given three row uh, in the given uh, column should be zero any one bit similarly any one bit in this one should be zero and in each column any one bit should be zero for uh, the at least one bit should be zero for uh, the and to be equal to zero okay also for the sum to be maximum only one bit in each row should be zero for example it it should be something like this and something like this you can have something like this so in this case the sum will be maximum and the bitwise and of the given three numbers will be zero so we need to find the pattern in this form. Okay. So it is very simple that we need to take one element in each column to be zero. So we have something like three C one selecting one zero. Okay. For each row. So we have K rows k columns okay for each uh, column we will have 3c1 possibilities so total number of possibilities is 3c1 multiplied k times so this is something like 3 to power k so in general so in general our answer will be n to power k okay since n to, n to power k can be large we need to print it in modulo field of uh, 10 to power 9 plus 7. Okay. So we just need to find this. So we'll take the inputs. Now we need to print n to power k in the modular field of 10 to power 9 plus 7. Okay, so ha I have a, a binary exponential 
modular binary exponential function already written with me so i'll call it here so the number is n mod n the power is k okay i have defined mod 1 with the 10 to the power 9 plus 7 okay so we'll print it now i'll try to run on the test cases okay i've forgotten to take the test cases so i'll keep a condition here as well. Now it should work fine. Okay, so the outputs are matching. Now I'll try to submit the code. Okay, so the code is accepted.